This is Ubud. The city is known as the spiritual, cultural and art centre of Bali. This is a place where you can get away from the crazy beach party and enjoy peaceful nature. In this video, we're going to take you to eight popular spots that you can visit while in Ubud. These include a gorgeous rice terrace, a stunning waterfall with a great restaurant, a Hindu temple with the holy ritual, and we also will visit the biggest park with over a thousand monkeys. All of these things are top activities that you don't want to miss when in Ubud. Ubud is a major centre of the Balinese culture and local spirituality that has attracted so many artists and travellers. It's located in the centre of Bali. It's still one of the best places in all of Bali to visit temples, see Balinese art and lead a healthy lifestyle. From Ubud there are many places that you can visit during your stay. In this video, we're going to visit eight places in and around Ubud city centre. Tagurnungan Waterfall is one of the most visited places in all of Bali. The scenery here is lovely. It's not far from Ubud city centre. To get to the waterfall takes roughly a 30 minute drive from Ubud and around an hour drive from either Seminyak or Changu. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Two people please. Yes, 20, it's 20,000 Indonesian rupiah per yeah. person to enter and it's open from 6.30 in the morning until 6.30 p.m. I actually think it would be really nice for sunrise but we don't get out of bed that early. Let's go and have a look. As soon as you pass through the entrance sign there's a great viewpoint to the left. On the way to the waterfall there's a cafe called Oma. It's a nice place to have food and drink when you visit Tagurnangan Waterfall. Compared to other waterfalls, Tagurnungan is categorised as a small waterfall. The water falls down from around 20 metres high. After the waterfall, you can walk up to another level you need to pay an extra 20,000 Indonesian rupiah for the other levels and this is a spot where you can actually get so much closer to the waterfall and get a great picture and if you want, pick up one of the wooden signs. We paid an extra 20,000 Indonesian rupiah per person to come up to another two levels of the waterfall and we saw two people asking for the price and when they were told they needed to pay extra they decided not to come up and go back down. If you come to this waterfall don't make that mistake I promise you the extra 20,000 Indonesian rupiah per person is definitely worth it because getting so close to the waterfall is just amazing. And then when you're finished here, there's a bar, restaurant on another level and just first impressions by looking at it, it looks amazing. So we're gonna head up there now. Make sure you pay the extra 20,000 Indonesian rupiah. You'll thank yourself later. This is a cafe located at the top of the waterfall. Here you can get on a swing and take a picture with the incredible view of the waterfall in the background. You can grab some food or drink here with a view of the waterfall or just have a lovely time swimming at the infinity pool at the restaurant.
Sacred Monkey Forest is also one of Bali's top tourist attractions. Okay, so the entrance fee to Sacred Monkey Forest is 80,000 Indonesian rupiah per person, so for two, 160,000. For your safety, please make sure you read and follow the Monkey Forest guideline. If you bring plastic or a paper bag, you can leave it at the ticket counter instead of taking it into the forest. In general, the monkeys won't come to you if you don't bring food. But if you've got bags with you and you've got food or maybe even water inside, Beware, because the monkeys will most likely try to get into your bags. We really enjoyed walking around and watching the monkeys play. There's about 1,260 monkeys living in this area and they're divided into 10 groups. <laughs> if you do want to be next to a monkey to take a selfie, my advice would be, don't try to do this yourself because there's a possibility you might get bitten. What you can do is speak to one of the staff and let the staff assist you. They have food, they'll put the food in your hand and it's a much safer option. To Galalang Rice Terrace is one of the most beautiful places to visit just outside of Ubud. To Galalang Rice Fields are situated in a valley that offers extraordinarily scenic lookouts over the terraces and surrounding green landscape. To Galalang Rice Terrace is only a short 20 minute drive north of Ubud. The entrance fee differs depending on which part of the rice terrace you would like to explore. We visited the Uma Seeking Resto and Swing. The price here was 50,000 Indonesian rupiah. And if you want the trekking, on the top of the rice terrace is the finish point. So if you want to come back, please use the same one. Just take care of yourself because the Okay, okay. If you want to sit on the swing and take a picture, you can. You just contact the staff around the area and they'll give you a price. Tagalalang Rice Terrace has been listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and this place has gained so much popularity among international travellers. Look at this, how incredible is this it's amazing once you arrive at Tagalalang rice fields the first thing you can obviously do is view the rice terrace from the top from the elevation however it's also possible to go down and cross a small stream and get to the rice fields on the other side Turta Empul Temple, locally known as Pura Turta Empul, means Holy Spring in Balinese. The temple is located 45 minutes north of Ubud. It's actually really close to Tagalalang Rice Terrace, perfect to combine a trip to both places in one day. Visits to Turta Empul Temple also have an entrance fee which is 50,000 Indonesian rupiah per person. As with any temple that you visit in Bali, it's always important to dress respectfully. The simple Balinese temple visit dress code is a traditional Cayman wrap or sarong around the lower body plus a sash around the waist. If you're planning to do some bathing during the bathing ritual, make sure that you bring another sarong to change into after the wet one. Also, you can rent a sarong for a small donation inside the temple, just next to the pool. 
You can speak to one of the staff if you want to do the ritual with an explanation and just to help you get a little bit more understanding about the meaning behind the ritual. The holy springs here bubble up into a large crystal clear pool within the temple and they gush out through about 30 water spouts into the two sacred purification pools. Local Balinese and Hindu worshippers stand in long lines and pools waiting to dip their heads under the water spouts in a purification ritual. Bathers start in the pool on the left side, standing in the pool up to the waist and they head towards the first water spout. Once they've cleansed themselves under the first spout, they then join the next queue and this process is continued until they've cleansed themselves under each of the water spouts. If you want to get out and go for a great walk, a hike which is not too tiring, then you most likely would enjoy a trip to Campahan Ridge Walk where you'll be surrounded by beautiful scenery and this is just slightly out of Ubud city centre. It maybe takes about 10 minutes to get there. The starting point is next to the Iba Hotel and you can see a big sign next to the main road. Oh, the weather's beautiful today. I have also read that some people do this walk in the morning for sunrise or later in the afternoon for sunset but for us it's just after lunchtime, just after 12 o'clock and the weather is absolutely glorious so I think any time of day as long as the sun shining would be nice. There are a few hills but it's an easy walk with lovely views of the rice fields down into a valley. Jerry, have you made a new friend? Yeah, on the way. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, he loved the cracker. I wonder if he follows you all the way. I think he'll probably follow you until there's no food left. And then when there's no food left, he'll make his way back. <laughs> After a while, you'll reach a built-up area with several art shops and the road becomes unpaved, but it's still quite even. Keep going another 500 metres to reach the rest point. At the rest point, you'll find a cafe called Casa Cafe and you can easily recognise it by the three traditional Balinese huts to the left on the road. Casa Cafe is a great place with a gorgeous view and a bamboo kitchen which is located on a hill not far from Casa Cafe. Another great temple for you to visit in Ubud is Goa Gaja, which literally means elephant cave. Although named elephant, it doesn't mean there's any real elephants that live there or ever lived there. The temple is 10 minutes south of Ubud and it's on the way to Turgenangan waterfall. You can visit the temple on the same day as you visit the waterfall as well. The cave itself is actually quite shallow, yet inside you'll find three stone idols wrapped individually in yellow, red and black cloth. Other sources state that Gadja or elephant aspect came from the stone figure inside the cave depicting the Hindu Lord Ganesh who was characterised by an elephant's head. <laughs> Ubud Market in Ubud city centre is a great place to head to if you want to do a little bit of shopping and this was made famous in the Hollywood movie Eat, Pray, Love which shows a scene with Julia Roberts doing a little bit of shopping. Now you can buy items there such as silk scarves, shirts, statues and a huge range of handicrafts, baskets or hats. 
Most of the goods that you find in Ubud Market are usually made in the neighbouring villages of Pengasan, Tagalalang, Payangan and Peliatan. And the last activity for you to consider when you're in Ubud is an early morning sunrise trek up Mount Batua. This might be the last activity on this video, but I promise you it's one of the favourite things we did in the whole four week trip to Bali. If you come back for the next video, this will all be about our trip to Mount Batua. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you when we head up to Mount Batua.